Oh my goodness. I'm gonna move these. <sighs> I'm falling. Okay. I had these wigs just like chilling on my lamp, and I realized that that's pretty raggedy, so we're gonna remove them. Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. Let me widen my screen and fix everything because I come on here unprepared. What's new? I'm gonna wait until more people show up. Hello, Posh with Pets. <sighs> okay. And Cynthia, is it Jenemy? The flippin' south, loaded south, loaded cart. Hi, girl. Hello, everybody. Um, okay, I'm gonna wait one more second. I'm so thirsty. Jesus. We got new neighbors, and we haven't talked to them at all. So hopefully they don't hear me because it probably sounds like I'm talking to myself. Um. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Um. Yeah, girl, no stretch in those jeans. They are really cute, though. If you need more measurements, let me know, and I can send them to you. Oh, I just shook my whole desk. Um, hi, Janine. It's nice to put a name to a name, you know, Nurse White, because I recognize you. Okay. Hello, Andrea. Okay, so I have three bags of things. Let me see if I can find my receipt. No, you know what? I think I spent like 63 bucks. I really didn't spend a lot of money. I was there maybe two hours. Um, the thrift stores in Akron have just been picked the fuck over, like so picked over. So I wasn't there long because I kept trying to go down more aisles and I was just you know, once you're going through racks for 15, 20 minutes and you're not finding anything, like, I have things to do. So, uh, I got three bags worth, but it only ended up being, like, 60, 65 bucks. So, we can go ahead and start. Nothing is listed. If you're interested in anything, let me know. I'll throw you a price. Uh, my prices include the shipping, and you can pay me through PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, whatever you got. If you want something, let me know. Um, Sarah, you should be working on finals, especially if you're in college, because then it costs money. So don't waste your money. Go work on your finals. Hi, Boutique Becky and Bailey. Is it Lara? That's a pretty name. I've never, yeah, Lara, never met a Lara. And hello, Jilly. Um, I don't know. Somebody sound off in the comments and answer Jilly's question. What brand name should a new thrifter buy for the first time? Anything that has good comps. <laughs> That's where I'm at with that. Hi, Lolita. Hi, Abby. So this is the first item. This is Lane Bryant. And it is an older Lane Bryant tag, but that's okay because it's plus size, so it's going to sell. Um, I imagine this will sell rather quick, too. And it's like this polka dot mixed with houndstooth plaid, open front little blazer. It's a, a 20, so it's a 1X. Um, and it's just so cute. So cute. Like, I would definitely keep this if I still worked uh, retail or an office or something. But this will probably get listed at 30, 35. Um, I price my items high, so if you're interested, let me know because we can chop some money off that. Um, this is the next item, Talbot. It is an eight petite. And it is, I believe this is window pane plaid. Black and white, really cute. It's kind of boxy, but it works. I don't know how because I'm not a big fan of boxy stuff. But Brock, don't play with me, because what we're not about to do is do this today, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put you in timeout until you can behave in my chat, because that's what we're not going to do. Oh, so these packages in the back. Um, that one, I believe, is from Financially Fit Millennial. I love her. She's so sweet. She wanted to send me some stuff for free. So that is from her. And then the other box is from another person i'm not gonna say their name because i you know i record videos so you guys have things to wait for and things to look forward to so 
you'll have to watch the video but that's from somebody else and they sent me some items to show on my channel um you know that's how things work some people free stuff they show it everybody's happy they get some exposure I get some free items and I get to like review stuff so that's cool I have on the longest skirt right now and I keep rolling over it. It is so pretty though. I got it from Burlington for 15 bucks and I wore it to Comic-Con because I'm a nerd and I fit right in this with the like pigtails and it was a whole thing. Um, so yeah, this is Talbot's. It is petite, eight petite. I just thought it's really cute. I like buying Talbots. You guys know this. You guys know this. I don't have to tell you. This is New York and Company, and it's an extra large, size 14, navy blazer. It's like a like a faux denim, but not a chambray. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it'll probably photograph better. Double button, casual. This is cute. Is this Talbot's? Yeah, this is Talbot's and this is old ass Talbot's. Uh, don't recommend a buy, but I got this for really cheap and it's a, I think it's 100% wool. I'm pretty sure I looked at that in the store. It's 67% wool skirt. I just think this is so cute. Like I just have on a black body con and easily like this with a black body con, bam, it's, you know, you're done. It's a whole outfit. Um, but oh, this tag, this is old as hell, old as all hell. Do not recommend to buy, but it's a wool plaid pencil skirt. So you don't have to follow the rules all the time. Um, so I've been asked to co-host a posh party, like a real posh party, like in person or like on the app. Um, I've never... I've never co-hosted a posh party. Um, anybody have a red blazer? Girl, I probably got one in here, to be honest. Um, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Hi, I'm so happy you could catch me live. Um, it's, a, it's a tree. Um, we're, we just started, so I'm not too far in. This is, oh, on the app. I've never co-hosted a posh party. I don't know if anybody here. Oh, hi, Amber. I didn't even notice you joined us. Um, I I don't, I can't think of anybody who's, I, I mean, I know a couple people who have done that, the hosting and co-hosting, but I've never done it before. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't give you any tips. Uh, this is Banana Republic, and it's new with tags, which is great. Originally $118. <laughs> They've lost their fucking minds. <laughs> Banana Republic is really losing it. So this is a size 8. Um, let's see what year this is from. This is from 2016. It says May TLRD Stripe. I don't know. I'll just look those up and try to find a stock photo. But yeah, they're out of their rabbit ass minds. I'll probably list this at 30 bucks. And it's a size eight, cute little striped, I guess, pleated skirt. So when I went to the thrift store, because the thrift store just be so picked over and I just be in there like, please let me fucking find something. And like every, every weekend I do end up finding something because I think I know how to make a dollar out of 15 cent. And I think I know how to find, like, I know how to take something that, you know, I can put lipstick on a pig. I can take something that's not that good and make it good. Um, but I went in, I went to the blazers, I went to the skirts. I usually go there last, but everything else is so picked over that I was like, let me just go there first. Um, and then I went to, like, blouses, really didn't find it. I don't think I found anything in blouses. Went to sweaters. I don't think I found anything. And then I went to dresses, even though, like, I had seen probably, like, three or four resellers already go down the dress aisle. And I still found dresses, so I was kind of confused. So, I don't know. Like, I, I don't even know why I tell myself not to go down aisles other resellers are. Because every time I do it, I still find something. I don't know how things get left behind. 
Um, this one, and I don't even think this is flawed or anything. It's Club Monaco, which granted isn't like anything super crazy, but still, like, I don't think, you know, that's not a bad price at all. It's under four bucks, but it's Club Monaco Small, and it's just this black sweater dress with this, like, lace-up bow. I thought it was cute, and I was surprised it was still there. Let me read the chat because I've just been talking. Does anybody know where to authenticate Louis Vuitton bags? I would try and maybe authenticate first. I heard um, they're good. Oh my goodness. Um, let me read these. If I find a stain on an item after I get it home, do I redonate it? Majority of the time, yeah. I don't like fixing things. I don't like problems and that just oh my god that sounds stressful like no because majority of the items that I bring home that have stains on them are items I got for like 80 cents I'd rather just soak that up I'd rather just soak up that cost than having to deal with it I have a 80 cent Keenar blazer I bought really cute striped casual blazer but it has a stain on the arm I'm not removing that that can go right in my donate bag I'm not dealing with that um, let me, that's cute. What's cute? I'm so sorry. I wasn't reading the chat. What's the skirt? Skirts scare me so hard to sell for me. Yeah. Yeah. Skirts like, okay. I was talking about this cause I did my ship with me video this morning. I sold a Brooks brothers skirt for full price for $30, which is like, what is going on? Um, and <laughs> that was crazy. For $30, $30 full price on eBay, and then I sold a New York and Company skirt for $20 on Poshmark, and I think those are pretty good prices for skirts, and I mean, these are skirts I paid, like, nothing for because I know skirts are risky, so I'm not going to spend a lot of money on them, so if I cannot get a skirt for the cheapest price that my thrift store is ever going to have it, I don't even buy it, like, I wait until they go to the cheapest price. Um, but I also think that maybe like my customers or the people who frequent my like closet because I do have quite a few repeat customers. I think they just like skirts. I think they have regular retail jobs and they need like career wear. I don't know because a lot of people won't buy like this is White House Black Market. People won't buy like White House Black Market like Calvin Klein, um, different more like I guess career -y type brands. Uh, but I guess I have a little clientele for it because it sells for me. Uh, my numbers last month. Does anybody want to know my numbers? What are my numbers? Where is my paper at? I did. Where's November? I did $1,500 in profit last month. Well, $1,518, $44 in profit. And... Uh, not all of that is on Poshmark. Majority of that is on Poshmark. But I made like $700 on Mercarium uh, eBay. I don't even know why I started talking about that. Let me get back to this fucking haul. This is White House Black Market. Extra small. Size zero. And I think this skirt is so cute. It's black and white. And it has... Oh, look at that. So cute. Two little pleats. Oh my god, I love it. So... That is so cute. Extra small. I'm so annoying. Everything's so cute. Okay, so this skirt, she's a little fucked up. She needs some help. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take a sweater shaver to it. I'm probably just gonna take some scissors to it and cut some of the pilling off. But it is Carlisle, which is like, um, it's a more expensive brand. I think I used the Completely app and I think average soles were like 30 bucks or something. I don't care. I got it real cheap. And it's cute. Super cute. I wish it was my size. Oh, so cute. You, you, you guys can't see the damage, but she, she is a little fucked up. She is, unfortunately. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that pilling. You guys can definitely see that pilling. Like I said, she, she's a little fucked up. So we're going to take some scissors to her. And then she'll be up and listed in no time. Um, is it better to buy a mannequin or take pics on the back of my door? Oh, I guess. Uh, does your door have, like, 
those big ugly boxes on it. You, you know the boxes I'm talking about that are on a lot of doors because then I think, I don't know, I, I think it'd be better to just put them on a mannequin. Or what I do is I just took a nail and just put my nail right in the wall. That's what I did. Uh, <laughs> and I did that on my white wall over there. So I take pictures on that nail all the time. Uh, so this is Lula Road. It's an extra large. I got it for like two bucks or something like that. I have like no extra large tops, so I really needed some, but it's this cute blue and like cream tan print, really comfy, cozy. And it's not that buttery soft material. It's more of like a silky material, but that's a Irma. It's a tunic. I have to ship some bulky boots in the new wide box. Should I just ship it in the box and wrap it in brown craft paper? Yeah, you could do that. I know. I mean, my friend's a mail carrier, and she said people ship things like they will ship shoes in the shoe box, <laughs> which I personally think is just so ghetto. I think that is just so ghetto. But she said that a lot of people – that she takes their mail, they just ship things in the regular shoe box and they'll just like tape up around the shoe box where the lid is and they'll put a label on the top of the shoe box. I just think that is just whew, do what you want, but I might I might rate badly on that because that is just like I don't know. Oh, I bought this for me because <sighs> Talbot's plus size queen 1X. I needed this. Um, it's a size 18 and it is this red plaid skirt. I will be wearing this all winter. I live for it. It's red and black and gray. Hi, Christina. I'm so happy you can make it. I always watch your lives. Sometimes I watch them live when I catch them, but I don't ever say anything because I don't, sometimes I don't know what to say. Like, so I just like, I mean, I just sit in the background. It's so, I, it's like, I don't, I just sometimes don't be having shit to say when I watch people's lives, but I, I watch them and I try to support people, but I'm just like in the background. So this is Zara and it is a, a medium. Oh, look how cute. A little unicorn. So it's like this, um, like silky material on the, I wish this was my size. Uh, so it's so cute. It's like this silky material on the front and then it's like regular cotton t-shirt on the back. We love that. I have no doubt that that will sell quick. Um, is it rude to ask people not to like your listing if they are never going to buy? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think if I like somebody's listing and they messaged me and was like, don't like my listing unless you're going to buy, I'd be like, I'm just going to block you because I don't even want to buy anything from your closet anymore. <laughs> um, yes, Buffalo check plot is so cute. That's one of my favorites. Um, you have that exact top. Well, you have good fucking sense in fact. Well, I already know you have good sense of fashion because you dress so cute, but that top is so cute. Um, I'm just reading things. Do you still have room for a 20 item cross listing? Can you DM me on Instagram? Because I'm going to forget. I do still have a list and I have a cross listing job I'm doing throughout the week. And then I have somebody booked for tomorrow. Um, so like I'm still going through my list and getting back to people, but it's like when you're trying to run your own business and make YouTube content, you know, it's hard. Like, and then I've been prioritizing repeat customers because that's how you run a business. Uh, so like repeat customers, I've been trying to push out quicker and like before everybody else. Um, I don't want to talk about cross listing because sometimes it's been stressing me out a little bit. <laughs> um, any thoughts on reseller mystery boxes? Uh, I would only ever do a reseller mystery box if I had something accessible to me, like the bins 
or if I had that much inventory. Um, but to me, it's just like, sometimes to me, reseller mystery box. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Listen, sometimes to me, it screams lazy. And sometimes to me, it screams smart because <laughs> some people have a following. They can push out reseller mystery boxes quicker than it would be for them to sit there and take the time and list all the items. But if you do take the time and list all the items, you're going to make more money. Like that's just kind of, I mean, that's the logic in it, right? Because if you weren't going to make more money, then why not put it, you know, um, but if you have like an excess of inventory or something like the bins, why not? If I went to the bins every day, hell yeah, I'd be doing reseller mystery boxes, but I'm not driving 30 minutes to our bins. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not today. Um, so I also got this. Uh, this is Simply Vera. It's a skirt, new with tags. Simply Vera, Vera Wang, sold at Kohl's. Retail price was 48 bucks. And this is a large. So this is going to go on my 3 for 30 sale. It's just <clears throat> pleated skirt. How many items do I have in this bag? Not a fan of listing. Me either. Me either. Or me neither. So I got this and I always test myself when I'm at the thrift store now. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to buy it this week because I bet it's going to, wow, my fucking earring just fell out. And that's why I don't wear these earrings. Is the back, yeah, the back's still on my ear. So I'm like, watch, this isn't going to sell in a week because my thrift store, they overprice stuff since nobody's paying 12 bucks for that. Like, what are y'all doing? Nobody is paying $12 for that. So I'm like, watch, it's going to be here next week. And when it's here next week, I'm going to get it for a dollar. And that is what happens majority of the time. Uh, but this was one of the items. I remember seeing it the week before and I was like, uh, should I just buy it? It's not going to be here next week. Lo and behold, it was there next week. And it's this cute little white and black gingham skirt. I really think gingham is phasing out. I do not think it is as trendy as it was. I think it really started phasing out in like August. Like my gingham items are not moving, but I got this for so cheap. It's new at tags. Um, just because I don't think it's super trendy anymore doesn't mean it's not going to sell. And it's the ultimate fit by Zach and Rachel. MSRP is $50. I'll probably list this at 25. Oh, wow. I found this. This is probably... I don't know if this is the best find. I can't even remember half of the stuff I found. Uh, but this is an Adriana Goldschmied skirt. And it is the Tyler skirt cargo pencil skirt. I'm happy it has the style name. And it's this black really cute denim skirt. What size is it? It's a 29. What is a 29? Uh, a 29 is like an 8. Like an 810 so cute. I thought it was really cute. I have a, uh, since I cross this for people and I cross this a lot to Mercari for their jeans, they don't have like the zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 option. It's all by waist size. So I went to, I don't know. I think it was old Navy's, not old Navy's website. It was somebody's website. And I got like the jean measurements. So I have all of that right here. So it says a size eight is a 29 and a half. Oh, so I got this and this fits me. So I'm going to wear it at least once. It is Gianni Sport. No relation to Gianni Versace. But it's this cute little vintage blazer. It's a size 14. So I can't button it because I'm like a 1820. But I love this print. But I'm just going to wear it open one day. With probably like black boots and like dark wash jeans and I don't know what type of shirt. Maybe this bodysuit. Um, I made a mistake in the description of the listing. Person didn't open a case but gave bad rating. I'm willing to give a refund. Can they open case after the fact? They cannot. I think the only thing you would really be able to do is to email Poshmark and maybe let them know that you messed up during 
listing and just explain the situation. Um, and I mean, you can go the extra mile, which would be nice, but I mean, at the end of the day, there's a return policy in effect for a reason. So, I mean, people have three days. So, um, this is Ann Taylor. It's a really old tag, but I got it really cheap and it's an extra small. I don't know if this style of jacket does well or if it's coming back or anything, but I figured for the price, I'd pick it up and it looks comfortable. It's longer, so it'll cover your butt, and it buttons all the way up. Um, give Org with Morg your Instagram handles. She wants to follow you, and I mean, she's telling you guys, I want to follow you, and nobody's dropping their Instagrams in the chat. What's going on? Um... Yeah, Gingham, I know, it's so summer. Well, now that I'm on eBay, we have three separate uh, markets. Yeah, markets, platforms to see my stuff. Uh, just got into Poshmark a couple months ago. Closet name is Julia's Violic. I've been having some sales, but I have a lot of items sitting. Open any suggestions. Um, oh, sorry, I got some in my eye. Open any suggestions. Sorry. I don't, can you give me more information? Maybe. <laughs> like I could give you a lot of suggestions. Usually my suggestions are list five items a day, share your closet three times a day and share other people's stuff. Um, I feel like those are three easy, quick things you can do every day. They're not going to take you much time. That tea is drying my mouth out even more. Do I have a report listings? No, I don't. You want to try to sell Tubware on Poshmark? Go ahead. Who am I to fight you on that? No shame in your game. More money to you. Uh, what size? What size what? I'm so sorry. Um, that Ann Taylor coat, it's an extra small. Who's messaging me? Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome, Morgan. <laughs> uh, you're Valerie. Wow. Somebody hit your fucking car. Goodwill. Wow. I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. If somebody hit my car, I probably wouldn't know because my car's raggedy as hell. I'm so sorry somebody hit your car. Wow, that blows. <sighs> My mom's car broke down, so maybe everybody's having car problems today. I was trying to see if this pocket was, it sounded like there was something in it, but okay. I got this blazer, and it is houndstooth and colorful, so it's everything I want in life. Fuck, it might be my size. This feels big. Um, no, it says U.S. small to medium. Where? Where? Did something just rip? No. Okay. Like, where is this a small to medium? No. Where? Where is this a small to medium? Can I button this? I can button this. Wow. So, yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to list this as an extra large. But this is really cute. I might wear this, too, before I sell it. I'll probably just list it high. Um, it's this rainbow, like, houndstooth plaid color. Really cute. I love it. It is, it says it's a small to medium. It's not. Girl, this is like a XL 1X. Um, and it's by TRF underscore outerwear. I didn't look up the brand or anything. Uh, the coat was cute. It was cheap. I bought it. It'll sell. If anything, I'll wear it. And that'll work. Oh, men's? Is it men's? Hmm, it could be. I don't think it's men's. Mm. I'll lay it down and see if it has, like, waist indents. <laughs> Glad I can watch you do my hair at the same time. The beauty of multitasking and multiple devices. Well, no, you're doing your hair and watching me. 
Sorry, I'm out of it. Uh, I'm just going to drive it with a dent. Don't need insurance to go up. I feel you on that one. Um, yes, I have a new blazer. <laughs> thank you, Valerie, and thank you guys for the compliments on the blazer. I'm definitely going to wear it. Um, so I got this. This is Marvin Richards, and Savannah had talked about this on Instagram. I had seen this brand before, but I didn't know it was, like, worth anything. Let me just pull up comps for you guys so you guys don't have to do it. Um, okay, so this is also the app that I use. You, you guys aren't going to be able to see that. It's called, ugh, it's called Completely. I put it in the chat. And I think it's like three bucks. It's a one-time payment. It's definitely worth it. Um, and it looks at sold and completed listings on eBay. And it shows you the sell-through rate, the average sell price, all that jazz. So I'm just typing in Marvin Richards coat. The average sold price is $95. A thousand listings, 27% sell-through rate. Average sell time is eight days. So, um, you know, there's, of course, lots of them that, you know, don't sell for much. But there's a lot of them that sell really high. So we'll see what happens. It's a nice red coat. And it's pretty long. This coat probably weighs like four pounds. Okay, let me see if it's wool. It's probably wool. Uh, it's a size 10, and it's 50% wool, 50% cashmere with a satin acetate lining. So that's actually really nice. It's really soft. So it's half wool, half cashmere. I can't think of a better combination. I don't know what I'm going to list that at. <laughs> no idea. I also got this Cole Haan coat, and I kept going back and forth with myself. Like, I know this is going to sit in my death pile. I know I'm not going to want to list it. It's giving me, like, Matrix type of tease. It's giving me, like, school janitor, maybe, like, pervert in a white van type of tease. Like, I don't know how I feel about this coat. But it's this long gray button down, like belted matrix coat, but it's like a it's like a matte, like dusty gray almost. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's just um it's a size large. And I got it because I was like, this is so cheap for a Cole Haan coat. Like I have to buy this. So I bought it. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It probably won't even get listed this week because I already know it's going to sit in my death pile forever. So this is the next item. Um, I found this when I went down the dress aisle. After so many resellers had went down, I was like, why did nobody buy this? Um, it's New York and Company, and it is a size extra small. And I like selling New York and Company. I wouldn't say it necessarily sells fast for me but it sells for like 15 to $25. So I'll take it. It's this striped, uh, I guess inverted arrow. Like I don't, I wouldn't call this Chevron necessarily dress and it's stretchy and it's also like ribbed, but it's not ribbed straight up and down. It's ribbed like horizontally. <laughs> what am I doing? I got this and it looks so tiny. It's an extra small and it's BDG, which is Urban Outfitters. Here goes that tag. A lot of people put this under anthropology. This is not anthropology. This is Urban Outfitters. And it's this brown, yeah, I guess plaid, three fourth sleeve dress, mini dress. It smells really good. Yeah, this smells really good. I'm quite, yeah, does it smell good? Yeah, it does. This would be cute with like black leggings and knee high boots. That just looks like it looks and feels and sounds cozy to me. Is there a way to see the lowest price you've offered on Posh? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I hate that. Like, I'll try to, I'll like tell myself that, uh, like, okay, I'm sending out my lowest period, and the next week I have to relist this. 
And then I forget and I go to send out my lowest period again. And it's like, this wasn't sent to anybody because there are no new likers. I try to remember, but it is really hard to keep track of that. List the boring ones first so it doesn't sit in the dev file. Then you're motivated and excited for all the rest. I definitely do try to do that. I list in like batches of five. So I'll pick like one super exciting item or like one item I know I'm going to be able to find a stock photo for or something like that. And then I'll pick like four, like just whatever items. So this is the limited and I sold a limited coat in under a week. And I sold a limited blazer in under a week. And I was really surprised by both of those sales. I believe it was a uh, blazer. But it doesn't always sell really fast. I got this because it was cheap. Um, it's like a little yellow mini skirt. I think it's really cute. It has these slit pockets. And it's showing up like not cute on camera. Like a dull yellow. But it's not. It's like a nice vibrant like Easter yellow. Easter yellow, you guys know the yellow I'm talking about. Um, I got this blazer. I think it's my size. Uh, there's no size on it. It's by Kodiak. I don't know who that is. Uh, is it my size? Here we go. Mm. No, it's not my size. My arms are restricted. I would say this is like a large. Yeah, I would say this is a large. This is a really cute blazer though. Don't mind me, just out of breath. Um, <laughs> this is such a cute blazer though. I love this print. And it's by a brand called Kodiak, which is on this. Um, I didn't look up comps or anything. It's a cute blazer. It was cheap. Picked it up to sell. I will probably list this as a large and include measurements. And I don't know if that's vintage or not. Um, I'll just look. I'll probably just look on eBay and see what other people are saying about the brand. Seeing other styles by the look of that label and the fact that there's like no size tag or anything. It probably is vintage. I bought this for myself. I don't know if it's going to fit me or if I'm going to like it on, but it is Pendleton and it's a hundred percent new wool. I don't know what year this tag is from, but I really want to say it's from the fifties or nineties. I cannot remember which one, but on vintage fashion guild, they have, uh, all of their tags and then the years they were made, but I bought this for myself because I love skirts and it's plus size, and it's Pendleton, and it's pleated. If I like it on, I'll keep it. If not, I'll sell it. Um, this is Gap, and this is older Gap, probably like 2004, but it's just a double button blazer. I'll probably list this at 2025, 20, put it in my 3 for 30 sale. Um, yeah, it does have that little, that wool symbol. You know what I'm talking about. I have like four or five items left. So if you have any questions, get them out now because I have to go pick my mom up after this. So I'm pretty sure this is the same blazer as that other one. This one is a size 18 though. So I got a lot of bigger sizes this time. But it's like that faux denim. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's like a faux denim. I don't know. But this is a 1X. Oh, this. Oh. I'm not dealing with that earring anymore. This is Ann Taylor size medium. I really, really, really like this. It's a black blazer with this white contrasting trim. And then it has a single button down here. And it has, it's silver. I think it's so cute. Um, my three for 30 sale is going good. I would say I probably get like one or two sales a week from it, which I'm completely fine with it because my profits are still good on those items. Um, and I usually move items quicker. So 
Um, I've had one sale so far this month with it. It's the third, so I think that's great. This is the next item. This is Norton McNaughton, and it is a vintage plaid colorful blazer. I'm a blazer queen, a color queen, but I love this. If I go, if I go anywhere and I still have these for sale, I will definitely wear them and take a picture for the gram so you guys can see all these cool ass blazers in action. Um, this is Taubitz. It's a two petite, extra small petite, navy blazer. That's going to go on my three for 30. I've never found Kenzo, but I heard their resale value is really, really, really good. What is this last item? A blazer? Talbot? Yes. Talbot size 16, extra large. This is a navy and white print blazer. So yes, lots, lots of skirts and blazers like the title of this live thrift haul said. That is it. I, yeah, I paid like 60 bucks for all of that, which is amazing. Um, but that is my haul. Um, let me answer any questions you guys have. I love vintage blazers. I literally just live for them. Uh, what's Deb cooking tonight? I took down some center cut pork chops for dinner. So probably that and rice um, and vegetables probably. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go. Oh, hi, Thrifted Culture. I'm so sorry, girl. We are ending. <laughs> we are ending this. Um, I wear a size 18 in Eloquy, but I'm really not trying to buy clothes right now. I'm trying to pay off a large amount of debt. I did my, um, uh, I keep track of my debt month to month, uh, month to month because I'm trying to improve my credit score. And you know, like the goal is like, I need a 750 and up. That is my goal right now. Uh, so I'm pretty close, but I probably need to pay off like, Mm, I'd say like three grand worth of debt before I get to that 750. Oh, thank you, Sue. I swear, I think Sue goes to work during the week so she can give me super chats. I don't know what her problem is, but I appreciate her so much. Thank you, Sue, so much every week for the super chat. I appreciate you. You know I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Um, but I'm trying to get to, Sue is the goat. If you guys don't know what the goat is, it's greatest of all time. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to pay off a lot of debt. I mean, majority of it is student loan debt, but a lot of it is credit card debt. Um, and I'm paying a lot of it. Like now I'm finally at a place where I'm making money and it's not like immediately leaving me like it's immediately leaving me right now because I'm trying to pay off debt in, you know, more than just a minimum payment every month. Um, but it's nice to know that like that money doesn't have to leave me, um, that I can pay my minimum payments and have a couple hundred left over. Like that's, you know, it sucks when you're broke. It really fucking does. <laughs> like it sucks living paycheck to paycheck. Like it is not fun. Um, I have been, this is something that keeps me from spending money. So I don't know if it's going to help any of you guys, but I have not been cashing out my Poshmark account unless I need it. So I have a large amount redeemable and mm, a decent amount pending. I don't know. My sales aren't the quickest. Um, but <laughs> I have not been cashing that out, like, unless I need it. So it's the third. So I know my student loans are about to hit me for 80 bucks. My phone bill is about to hit me for a hundred. So instead of cashing out my Poshmark, because unfortunately Poshmark doesn't let you cash out like a certain amount. Like they're like, no, you have to take all of this, all of this right now. Um, I cashed out some of my PayPal account because I already know that, you know, these bills are about to just be punching the shit out of my bank account um, in the next couple of days, unfortunately. And then once I pay off, 
you know, my credit card bills were going to be right back to zero. So that's fun. I love the beginning of the month. It is just the greatest. Um, money is just, it's just, I don't think Poshmark lets you do specific amounts. Every time I try to do it, it's like, take it all. Like it doesn't let me change anything. Um, maybe I'm gonna have to look at that because I would definitely just be taken out like a hundred at a time. I hate the fact that I don't want all that money right now. I really don't. Um, oh, do sales usually pick up once you reach ambassador status? I didn't notice an increase in sales. I noticed an increase in sales once I started getting more active listings. I think the more active listings, the better. You know, there are days when I don't share my closet and I still make a sale because I just got a lot of shit for sale right now. I'm trying to get up to 500 active listings, but the more you have, the better. Oh, Olivia, I didn't even know if you were still here. <laughs> Because I was jumping in and out of her live stream that she did on Instagram. I had no idea you were still here. I will definitely try on desktop. Um, bye, Morgan. Thank you so much for spending your Monday night with me. Um, I have about 325 active right now. Uh, but yeah, I've been keeping track of my debt. And unfortunately, from last month, my debt went up. But that's because I got a credit card to put all my Poshmark, to put all my sourcing on because I want it all on the same like bank account um, because tax time is about to come up. And I'm paying my friend. He's an accountant. I'm paying him to do my taxes. So I want him to have like the easiest experience ever. Um, but yeah. If you want to save some money, don't cash out your Poshmark account unless you really need the money. That's my tip. I'm going to go now because I'm rambling and we've been here for 46 minutes. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> you guys enjoy your night. I have to go pick up my mom. She is texting me like, I know you're doing your video. Can you still pick me up? Like, yes, mother, I can still pick you up. Um, good night, guys. Uh, enjoy your night. Hope you guys have good sales. Share your closet if you can. And I will be posting my ship with me video tomorrow. And then I will have a haul video of those two boxes plus another box that's down here. And then I'll have a November wrap up. And then we'll have a what sold in November on Mercari. We're just, we're pushing out the content this week. So I hope you guys enjoy those videos and I will see you on Instagram. Peace out guys.